G'day folks, Steve from Vintage Restorations Australia here. In today's episode, we fit the hubs, fill the diffs, fix the relay, finish fitting the shockies, and finally, strip the bulkhead. Here we are, back in the workshop. John's already Hi. into it. It's been a while since we've been in here. Uh, just have to get a gasket on and I'm doing the uh, freewheeling front hubs. That's delightful. Looking pretty good, John. You've done an amazing job. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So I've finished building this unit. That's all good. Uh, I've got the scroll pin installed. So that's fine and dandy. It's, as you can see, a bit greasy, which is good. There's a gasket that goes in on this surface. And we've only got one of those. The other gasket got a little bit destroyed coming out. Um, and the other gasket also it got destroyed. We destroyed a few of the screws. We had to drill out some of these Phillips head screws to get the uh, aluminium external cover off. So um, I need to cut out a new gasket and find a few extra screws that suit, that fit. Uh, there's an O-ring that goes on this end here, and they're a bit old and worn, but there's a gasket as well that sits down here, so I'm kind of happy, I reckon. I'll just get into it and make it happen. So, a bit of gasket paper, you can buy that just about anywhere, get it in various weights and purposes, trace out what you want to cut the gasket shape to, using an old one or the part, and then... Ages ago I bought myself a fairly cheap set of hole punches, which comes in really handy. Punch the holes first, and then cut out with a pair of scissors following the line. Here, there you go, new gasket. My tip for punching out holes, put it down on a piece of freshly cut end grain, um, preferably hardwood, in this case I've got pine, but that'll do. And um, then you can punch through the cardboard into, or the gasket paper, into the end grain, and it makes a nice hole. Comes out nice and clean. So, got a few screws, the original ones that came out, and I need to replace them. I have um, <laughs> drawers full of old screws that I've kept, sorted by size. So these are a uh, 3 16 pretty standard Whitworth at the back here kind of don't have exactly the right fit because the head has to fit in the hole so I've um, turned down the edge of them to make them fit and I did that simply by chucking them up in the drill turn the drill on and then just run the file lightly over the edge of the screw till it comes down to the right diameter Nothing. They're working, is what you're saying. Yep. It's not even the magic of YouTube. It's the magic of freewheeling hubs. This tyre makes a rattling noise. There's something loose in it. Probably had the valve tip placed. Alright, oil time. It's like hammer time, but different. I recommend an SAE of about 90 for this. For the diffs.
Okay, steering relay. Get a protractor, anything you've got. One of the primary school ones will be fine. Uh, set it to 81 degrees. Top link, bottom link. Turns out that the bottom link is splined, so there's not that many options for how it's going to go on. So uh, there you go. Steering relay connected. It, uh... Doesn't look right. Well, it's a bit too long for yeah. where the mount is here, and we don't have the right sort of connections on the end. That's life. <laughs> Better go sort that out. Where's this? Hammer. Yeah, heaps. All right, firewalls. This is the puppy we're choosing? I think so, I think that's easier. Got less rust in it, in less awkward places, so. Yeah, easier to fix. Yeah, so it's, this has just got a bit of shitty stuff down there and not much else really. There we go, inside, ready for strip down. Oh, the wind it were howling, both sagging and cold. That's it for today folks, hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. You may notice down below that we've now included a Patreon and a PayPal section. Um, if you've enjoyed the channel and feel uh, you're in a position to financially support us in any way, we'd appreciate that so we can keep making this content to share with you. Straight up next, we've got a double episode this week and John's going to be doing the brake lines for the project, so tune into that one and enjoy it. Till next time, take care of yourselves and look after each other. See you folks.